Cavalier. Hello there, LGBTQIA plus and allied viewers. My name is Tando. Real quick disclaimer, this video is not meant to offend anyone, but by virtue of it being based on stereotypes, I have a suspicion it might touch a few spirits. So I apologize in advance when you get offended. You've already read the title, let's get into it. I'm gonna hit you up with types of South African lesbians. Lesbian number one, the soccer lesbian. They always have a soccer match all week long. You'll dial up your South African soccer lesbian friend. Hey friend, I haven't seen you in a while. Let's hang out this Saturday. Yo, Joe, I'm so sorry. I have a soccer match this year. And I get it. It's how they came out as lesbian. As soon as they kicked that soccer ball, the whole neighborhood was like, yep, let's um, uh, dyke, 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 trust. Dyke, dyke, dykeling. Dyke, dyke little girl. Lesbian number two, the kick and bubbles are lesbian, also known as Malume. This one is self-explanatory. If you don't know what a kick and bubbles are, is it's a kick and boy hole kind of shoe. And these types of lesbians can only be seen wearing it. Sometimes you'll spot them at the shopping mall wearing like Adidas sliders, but most of the time it's the kick and bubbles are. And also for some odd reason, all the kick and bubbles are lesbians are like um. A double, a double D around the bust area. Suck that. Lesbian number three. This one, I had a little bit of a tough time labeling them. Um, but for now, we'll just call them that generation lesbian. These lesbians have been in the movement since it was still the LGB movement. They strategically aligned themselves with the anti-apartheid movement so that when the apartheid regime was finally disbanded, We'd also get the right. Equality clause was ours. And we are really, really, truly thankful and grateful for the, that generation lesbian. However, they can't stand us. <laughs> the old wise lesbians, the owls, they just feel like we, we were just having too much fun with our freedom and our rights. And we're actually just celebrating all the work that you put in so we could enjoy these freedoms. Always SMHing, looking at us on thumb, we get it, you're gay, you're free, but must you be so exhibitionist? Must you be so flamboyant? Can you just turn it down? Don't mess it up for us. Okay, we get it. We fought so hard for it. So hard. Thank you, that generation lesbian. We truly appreciate it, but um, this is how we can thank you by living to our fullest potential as the gays that we are. South African lesbian number four is the lesbian poet. Not to be confused with the rapper or the writer. You would think they're cut from the same cloth, but in South Africa, mm -mm, mm -mm. the lesbian poet writes poetry. This is how they would they lesbian pray with the rhymes. I I would try uh, a, a, a rhyme, but I'm emphatic at poetry, and I would never find myself with a lesbian poet because. <laughs> Everything would just go over my head, but they exist, they're around, you know, you know them, you've met one, too. I don't think I have a lot to say about them. Uh, uh, I don't know what, this is, I, I, this is what I imagine the wooing happens in the lesbian pheromones. Let's move on to the next lesbian. Wait, wait, I can try segue to the next lesbian uh, with poetry. Let's try this. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the wokest of them all? The fifth lesbian! Wait, why do I do this like it's me? It's not me. It's the intersectional feminist lesbian. You will find a concentrated influx of this kind of lesbian there by the Twitter. Always five to rip you to shreds as soon as you make a mistake or just don't know like a, a term for a thing that happens on section 56 of the constitution. Always there to remind you how imperative and important language is. Sweep into your DMs on some, hey, um, not sorry to do this again, but you misgendered Gamo. Definitely non-binary. What was the impulse behind you using the pronoun she? Please correct it. Thanks. Which leads us to the sixth lesbian, which is the complete polarity of the intersectional black feminist lesbian. The homophobic lesbian. This is the too good to be lesbian lesbian. Oh, you want to invite me to your party? Sorry. I only hang out with straight people because I don't know, just homosexual drama is so beneath me. 
Yeah, definitely not doing Pride again this year. That many queers in one space? Yo. But, but you, uh, you, you, you eat vagina. Are you seeing, are you seeing some, somebody about it? Last lesbian! The born again Christian lesbian. Always distraught when they have to miss Sunday service. But also always finding hate comments from the community, from the community, about how much they must hate themselves because the church can't stand homeless. So why would they subject themselves to such an environment? It's not bizarre to me that the LGBTQIA plus community judges uh, homosexuals that go to church considering the state of affairs in the Bible. Um, a lot of us work hard to find churches knowing that they won't be affirming but definitely welcoming and that's my church so um, it works for me it's definitely better than a lot of other spaces that are considered safe spaces for us that are not even close to being safe i had to just sneak that one in there because a lot of people don't get it that's where we'll end today's video let me know if you want more of this there's plenty more where that came from next time i can do regional lesbians let me know in the comment section if you want that we all know the joburg Durban and Cape Town rivalries. Do you recognize any of the lesbians that I have mentioned here? Put all of your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up if you did like it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!